Sign up to the SBR Network and use your free daily bet points to earn real-world prizes. Click on the page and start winning now. What's happening, viewers? Welcome to SBRForum.com on a Monday. There's no March Madness to bet on today, which means that we've got to get our high from other places. Man, oh man, was it a great weekend uh, in the last four days for college basketball. All sorts of insane action. Hopefully we have some good action on the NHL on Monday. So let's take a look at three games on the ice and give you some quick thoughts and some quick picks. We're going to start off with the New York Rangers and Phoenix Coyotes. Don't like the side in this game. What I'm going to recommend is the under. Both goaltenders playing well. Henrik Lund Quist has allowed 13 goals in his last eight games, whereas Mike Smith has a 2.1 GAA this month. It was a 924 save percentage. Under makes a lot of sense. Not sure about the Rangers laying a boat, minus 160. Uh, the Phoenix Coyotes have had some pep in their step recently. Rangers have not played well at home uh, in their last few games, if you take a look at the numbers. Next up, we got the Ottawa Senators and Tampa Bay Lightning. It's the Ben Bishop re uh, revenge game. He's back to take on the team that traded him away at last year's trade deadline. But uh, Bishop is in the midst of his worst month of the year. We're talking about a guy who's probably a Vezina Trophy candidate before this month. He's played pretty bad, 2.87 GA. Well, you know, not awful, but not good for his uh, standards. Uh, you know, below average in the NHL and, you know, big drop off from what he was doing before. 2.87 GAA this month. As for Ottawa, they've been horrendous uh, from a defensive perspective. Allowed more goals than any other team uh, per game this month. They've allowed 4.2 goals per game in their last nine. That's absolutely horrible. Lastly, we're going to give you an underplay. Oh, pardon me, I should say. So we're going to take the over in the Ottawa and Tampa Bay game, if that wasn't clear enough. Lastly, we're going to go under with the San Jose and Calgary game. A little bit surprised to see five and a half here. I think it's sort of the old perceptions with Calgary that they're a bad defensive team. But this team's played pretty well on defense, allowing uh, 2.28 goals per game over the last 11. As for the San Jose Sharks, allowing 2.18 over, uh, over their last 14 games. So they're playing uh, pretty well as well from a defensive perspective. I see a low-scoring game. Both teams have been playing uh, more unders than usual. And uh, Calgary, I think the perception of this team being bad defensively as they were earlier in the year is what's pulled this line up to 5.5. I really think it should be a 5. Uh, so that being the case, I'm going to take the under in this spot. Thanks for watching this video right here on SBRForum.com. we got another preview of Monday's action. It's an individual video of the Boston and Montreal uh, game. That should be an interesting matchup. The Bruins have won 12 straight. Click over that video to see if I think they're going to make it 13 in a row. Thanks for watching.